Even if you're at a down point in your life right now, I can promise you times could have been worse. Here are the top five most terrifying times in history to be alive. Number five on this list is the Catholic persecution in Britain. This happened in the 16th and 17th century and was really not a good time to be alive if you were Catholic. List first says, Britain has been trying to rebrand its historical image with tea and monocles, though it's hard to do given and how violent its history has been. We're not even talking about the colonies here. A civilian in Old Britain may die in a variety of ways depending on the time period. The worst, however, would have probably been during the Catholic Rebellion and their eventual persecution. It was generally a time of upheaval in Europe, largely over the question of which kind of Christianity is the best one. The situation was especially bad in England as the ruling Protestants really did not like the Catholic population. If you were suspected of being a Catholic or harboring one, there were a number of creatively horrifying ways you could die. One woman was slowly and publicly crushed to death simply for refusing to talk when she was questioned for supporting the Catholics. You could be drawn and quartered, hung, or just lynched by a mob. The mob thing was rare as the central authorities made sure to intervene and kill you themselves before the situation got so out of hands. How nice of them. Yeah, so just a casual death by public crushing for maybe supporting Catholicism. This is a time in history that I feel doesn't get brought up nearly enough based on what happened. In all honesty, I didn't even really know about this time until I started doing some research for this video. Maybe that is because the British government has tried to do a full rebrand and doesn't really want to bring up the dark past of what was once one of the worst times to be alive. Throughout history, people have consistently been persecuted for their beliefs and how they want to live their lives. This was one of the worst examples of that in history, and it's definitely not a time that you would have wanted to be alive. Number four on this list is the Siege of Sarajevo. This time really isn't that far off from us at all, folks. This siege took place from 1992 to 1996. Sarajevo is the capital of Bosnia, and had you have lived in this place during that time, life would have been hell. List first says, sieges are an overall bad time to be in, and we highly recommend not being in one if it could be helped. Some of the most prolonged sieges in history, like the Siege of Leningrad, have been huge humanitarian disasters too, as sieges primarily affect the citizens. One particularly horrifying siege that isn't mentioned that often is the Siege of Sarajevo by the Serbs, which is also the longest siege of a capital city in modern history. It went on for almost four years, and close to 14,000 people ended up dying. If the incessant shelling on primarily civilian areas like the market didn't get you, you could die in many other ways. People were dying just from the harsh cold as there were no fuel supplies in many parts of the city. Quite a few of them had to move into shared spaces with other families without any amenities, turning an otherwise functioning city into a giant refugee camp. Many people were killed by snipers who deliberately targeted civilians. Think about being a citizen in that city during that time. Your entire life is literally just about surviving at that point. And not just for a week or for a month, for literally four years. Four years of constant attack in horrible conditions to live in. Four years of fearing that you and your family are gonna be killed. Four years of freezing and having no good food to eat at all. And this literally happened not that long ago, guys. This just as easily could have been one of us that was caught living there. You were just in the wrong place in the wrong time and now your life is uprooted and you need to fight to stay alive. Number three on this list is the Sengoku period. This was a period that took place in Japan from about 1467 to 1600. List verse says, the Sengoku period lasting over a hundred years was one of the most defining parts of Japanese history, as well as one of the most influential. A lot of historical Japanese pop culture is set in that period as it was a time of consistent war and rapidly shifting political climate. There were more warlords fighting for territory than you could count, as the central power of the shogun had weakened in recent times. For someone living in that period, war and suffering would have been part of your daily life. Apart from opposing factions regularly raiding villages and towns for supplies, civilians were often caught between battles they had nothing to do with. Of course, that wasn't the case in every village across Japan, as many of them thrived due to the shifting landscape too. For those caught between the battles or just lost in the vast swamp, 
swaths of ungoverned Japanese territory though, it was a dangerous time to be in. The period was noteworthy for its brutality and general disregard for human life and gave way to some of the most fearsome samurai warriors in Japanese history. There are a few documentaries on this time period of Japan and they are all very informative and super interesting. It's pretty neat to look back now and see what was going on, but back then, having to live through it, that would have been horrible. It really was like a massive game of risk that everyone was playing. And even if you were just a farmer trying to survive, it didn't matter. You were now caught up in this massive game of risk and your life was constantly on the line. Number two on this list is the Roman Empire. Okay, wait, wait, I thought the Roman Empire was supposed to be one of the greatest empires ever. Well, it was. And if you were one of the leaders or a member of the elite class during this time, then you were laughing. But for some, it wasn't as nice. Specifically, the miners. The Roman Empire had a lot of slaves, mostly people that were taken from conquered territories and forced to work for the Romans. The worst possible place that you could be sent though was the mines. If you were a slave and you got sent to the Roman Empire mines, then life, it's about to get horribly bad. The conditions were awful down there. Mining was relatively new back then and there wasn't really any advanced technology to help these people. Not that they would have received received any help anyways though. The Romans were brutal to these people and specifically handpicked people they didn't like to be sent down there. Disease was widespread because people were literally worked to death and never cleaned. They were given very little food and if they weren't producing quick enough then they would just be killed. And oftentimes these killings were of amusement to the guards as well and they would mutilate you or throw you in a pit with a hungry wild animal. There were literally no redeeming qualities to the mines at all and you probably wished for death if you got sent there. And finally number one on this list is is the year 536. Kind of a specific year here, folks, but from what I've heard, it was literally the worst. This verse says, when us laymen talk about the worst times in history, we're thinking of stuff like violence and proximity to cannibalism. We don't have any scientific parameters to measure how bad a time is for the people living in it, though we can make educated guesses. When it comes to actual scientists though, they don't bother with guesses or estimates and have calculated the exact year it was the worst time to be alive in history, the year 536. Apart from the falling empires the world over and general political chaos, the year 536 also marked one of the worst global famines in human history. The famine was due to ash in the air blocking the sunlight, which isn't surprising as there were also quite a few humongous volcanic eruptions around that time for good measure. The foggy eclipse of the sun, as it was described then, was visible everywhere in the world, giving the whole thing an even creepier vibe. Combine that with brutal conflicts in many places around the world, and you know why the researchers chose the year 536 to be the absolute worst one in history. So basically, year 536 was just hell on earth. Everyone was either dying or fighting, or they were dying of not having any food at all. It's kind of crazy to think that only a few thousand years ago, this could have been us. Nowadays, farming is so advanced that most of us are in a pretty good place when it comes to food, but back then, if the river dried up or the sun didn't come out, that was it, guys. We just aren't going to be eating anymore. Just be thankful that the year is 2022 right now and not 536. But there you have it, folks. That is our list of the top five most terrifying times in history to be alive. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other scary times to be alive that you guys know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>